It's a beautiful day out here at the Angelina Rifle and Pistol Club. We're out here this morning um, for the 2023 Piney Wood Shootout, um, sponsored by Timber Ridge, by the way. Mm -hmm. So we're here with Jeff Slaga, the assistant match director. And Jeff, um, what what exactly are we here for? What are we talking about? Well, this is like I said, this is the Piney Wood Shootout. It's our second annual event. We hosted this last year. It's a Tier Three IDPA match. Oh, well, wait a minute. Let me stop you there. Real quick. What is you say Tier Three IDPA? Um, and forgive us, guys. Uh, gunshots going on. It is an actual match. That's right. It's going on. So. Um, so IDPA, can you explain what IDPA is for the viewers who don't know what that is? Right, so IDPA stands for International Defensive Pistol Association and this is a, a, a tier three match which is just the, the size of the match. We can host up to about 150 shooters for this match. Um, we've got about 125 that are here shooting today and, and we have monthly matches at the range here at Angeline Rifle and Pistol Club. Uh, every month we shoot on the second Saturday, uh, 9 o'clock in the summer and 10 o'clock in the winter. It's uh, usually about 10 to 15 shooters, but it's a, it's a, these, these matches are scenarios that are self-defense based and they're just a stage that you would expect if you're, a, if you're a licensed to carry holder and you find yourself in a situation we try to make scenarios that you might encounter as a as a licensed to carry got you. and anybody can come Any, out and try anybody it anybody can come out and try it the thing about the weekly or monthly yep. matches um, if you want to kind of get your toes wet or get your feet wet in it and uh, and try it out so it makes it a little easier Absolutely. to come out and check it out um, yep. so the uh, so we came out this morning to show support for it we brought our turtle boxes and our caddies and everything to uh, to show it off along with a few guns so guys if you haven't again we've said this multiple times if you haven't been out here to Angelina Rifle and Pistol you really need to check it out so um, come check out their IDPA matches on the second Saturday of the month we appreciate it guys yeah. Sir, Robert, here, Michael, yeah, Victor, here, Peter, here, Jonathan, yep, yeah. Mary's here, and Ian, here. All right, we got everyone. Catch your breath, we'll get started. So, Scott is our shooter, Richard's on deck, Derek in the hole, Iceland the depot. Start position is seated at SP here with your hands on your knees, gun downloaded to six rounds, and placed on table with trigger guard on the X. All spare ammo loaded to the vision capacity on your belt. At signal, engage T1, far left target, with six rounds at SP while seated. Then engage T2 with six rounds from inside the box at P1. Then engage T3 with six rounds from low cover at P2. Scoring is unlimited. There's three IDPA targets, two non-threat. Concealment is optional. Ready? Stand by. Ready? Stand by. You and a friend are traveling to Lufkin to shoot at the Piney Wood Shootout in this helicopter. You had to stop for fuel at a small rural airport en route and are attacked. You are not going to be late for the match, so defend yourself and get to Lufkin. Start position at SP behind me.
the hole. out of your squad. Negative. Okay, wow. we have a full house. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we'll make it past that. As soon as Mr. Elm stands where I'd like him to stand, I'm we'll continue with this. A, a You're trying to get your own personal walkthrough. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. All the other competitors watched it as well. Alright. My name is Shane. I'm your CSO. Laurie is my is a, my SO. She's gonna be helping me out. Do not cross Lori. She will not put up with your shenanigans. All right, scoring is unlimited. Targets, five IDPA, two poppers. Scoring will be three best per paper. Three each, three oh, per paper. Steel must fall to score 17 rounds. Start, stop, audible, last shot like always. Rules, current IDP, IDPA rulebook as always. Concealment is required. Moses A points, 180 degrees as always. Start position at SP per rule 372. Gun load division capacity and holster. With toes on marks, hands relaxed at your size. Spare ammo on your belt. Stand by. This is called bus attack. There's one pepper popper and two non-threats. Scored hits are T1 is best five. Um, steel must fall to score everything else is best two. 16 rounds total, IDPA rule booked, concealments required, 180 degree rule. Start position is where Caleb's at. You're gonna have both feet on the blue.
All right, guys, so we've had a great day out here at Angelina Rifle and Pistol Club with the Piney Wood Shootout, right? So today, right now, joining me is the match director, Kyle Fender, and Derek Hill, who is a uh, decorated champion. So, Kyle, um, tell us a little bit about what you think about it today. So, um, had a really successful match, total of 127 shooters shot, um, over 20,000 rounds fired over two days. Gave away some awesome prizes from Timber Ridge Firearms, our title sponsor. We had a great time. Yeah, excellent. It was definitely a good match. Uh, challenging in some parts. You know, a lot of a lot of different props, a lot of different movers. Uh, you like those sprinkled in for your match. It keeps it interesting. What do you think of the boat, Eric? Well, wait a minute, the boat and the helicopter. I guess that's the two big ones. Uh, so. Helicopter, I don't think I've ever shot out of a helicopter or through a helicopter, so that was a first. Um, the boat, the boat is always fun. Uh, I know, Concealment was uh, optional, you know, since at IDPA we always have our fishing vest on. It's the one mm -hmm. time I think I've ever been in a boat without my fishing vest. Uh, <laughs> but you know, you, you get you get movers like that and it, it throws you off balance and that's that's always one of those stages that you, hey, uh, how'd you do on the boat? Talking to your buddies afterward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, go ahead. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Um, a little bit about yourself as far as I'm not trying to pry or anything, but you, you are a, er, a distinguished <laughs> master champion. Yeah. Uh, Revolver, distinguished master, so that's that's about as high as you can go in, in IDPA. Um, but I understood that to be this is your you got two of those. Like I, yeah, of those? I have two two uh, division champions at uh, at nationals. Um, you know, going into the world match uh, this year. I don't have a don't have a world title yet, but that's what <laughs> we're looking for this year. Well, nationals pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's for a lot of people. This was really the last major match that we got before we got into worlds. And you know, when you go to a world match. The, the technical aspect of the stages, you know, just it goes, it bumps up a whole other level. So, you know, seeing a lot of movement and having a, a challenging and technical match before going into world is always, it's always beneficial to the shooter. For sure. Kyle, you did pretty good today as well, didn't you? I did all right. Yeah. I won second overall at the match. You know, second carry optics, second out of everybody here. That's good. You shoot quite a bit, right? I, I shoot a little bit. Yeah. I try to shoot a thousand rounds a month or a little more than that. Oh, wow. but. Oh. <laughs> what is, I mean, just let's talk about weapons a little bit. You revolver, right? Revolver. What, what specifically do you shoot? Uh, Smith & Wesson 625. 625. Performance center, so it's the half load, 45 ACP. I guess. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, tricked out any particular way? I know I heard you say, worry about the gun, don't worry. I mean, don't don't worry so much about equipment, worry about practice. Yep, no, that's that's exactly right. You know, there's a few things that you can do to those revolvers to, to tune them up, uh, smooth out the action a little bit, chamfer the charge holes, you know, change your sights if, if that's what you want for a different sight picture. But really beyond that, you know, once you get down to a, a, the trigger you're comfortable with, yeah. load up ammo and go shoot. That's Practice it. is the best thing. That's it, for sure. What about yourself? So I'm shooting uh, Langdon Tactical Technologies, Beretta 92, uh, tuned up by Ernest Langdon himself. <laughs> Got the gun from him, put some thick grips on it, fit my hands, and go shoot. Wow. Go wear the thing out. Yep. Nice. That's kind of the theme there is go shoot. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So yeah. Right. get out there and get the practice and go shoot. So. Ten thousand hour rule, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's got ten thousand hours just on throwing moon clips. <laughs> yeah. That, that was the coolest thing to watch. I'm sure. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you'll catch some video in one of our shoots, one of our videos. But man, he was he was so smooth, and so great. So I would never be able to hit that hit that goal that he practice. Yeah. Practice. Yeah. practice. Hours right. in the garage. For sure. All right. Well, guys, we appreciate y'all uh, y'all stepping up here with us and talking to us on this, and uh, appreciate you letting us be the title sponsor for everything. Absolutely, sure. can't appreciate you enough, John, Johnny. Yeah, appreciate it. Nice yes, 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 sir. Thanks appreciate so it. Nice to meet appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank Thank you. Good shoot, sir. On. Absolutely. Yep. Next Absolutely. year. Good luck at Worlds. Thank you. All right, guys, this is it for the day. Um, we really appreciate you tuning in. Make sure that you like this uh, like this video and subscribe. We need those subscriptions, so make sure you like and subscribe. Share it on Facebook. We appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in.